Oh yeah, playing a little more Minecraft today. Welcome back to the Minecraft Amplified Awesomeness. Last time I, I really didn't do a whole lot. I did some rambling. Had an interesting situation with the mobs though. I still can't explain that. But you know, it's like every episode something interesting happens that's beyond explanation. So, I hope y'all are having a good day. If you're not, I hope this will help cheer you up, because that's what I'm here for. I am your personal psychologist, and through my efforts in the vast reaches of the Minecraft world, and my commentary, and apparently I've got a soothing voice, although I've recorded these videos. See, we didn't have Christmas on Christmas Day this year. And, uh, you know, it's, it's family related to the reasons this person couldn't be there, and that there, and whatever. Point is... Uh, I was kind of, I guess I was kind of holding off to, uh, because I, I need a new headset, and I was going to get one, but I thought, eh, maybe I'll wait, uh, because maybe I'll get one in one of my gifts. I don't know that yet, so I decided to bite the bullet and just make do, because I'm telling you now, if you saw the headset rig that I have at the moment, you would just, you would probably die Free be the first person that I know of to die from laughing so hard. It is, an, ugh, it is an absolute mess. <laughs> All right, I I bought this headset uh, from the store like six, six months ago. I bought this thing, and it came with. It was a, a headset that you can talk into. It had the the mouthpiece, but it was one of those new ones that's got the combo. Cord, so it's not two cords, one for the microphone and one for the head jack. It's it's an all-in-one, so it's one cord for both. You plug it into certain sound cards that have that. Well, I didn't know that because you can't exactly open... Ooh, hello, creeper. You can't exactly open the package before you buy it. Why did you explode? I was far enough away. Oh, well, no skin off my nose. Yeah, I got the, I got the headset. I, I may have talked about this before, but it, it didn't work. So... I went and found little creepers. Let's see if how many arrows do I have left? One, two, three, four. That's it. I had six total. Oh crap! Oh, that hurty. Eat your carrots. I do like carrots too, so I am the glad. I don't remember if you can cook them or not. Anyway, I I, I used to have back like. 15 years ago, <laughs> I am not exaggerating, maybe even longer, I, um, I, I, when I first started making music, and I had this old keyboard with like 10 settings on it, old Yamaha synthesizer from like the 70s or 80s, and I had this microphone with the stand, it came with this old Packard Bell all in one that was like 533 megahertz 1500 dollars for the whole setup you know how computers used to be or maybe you don't well that's how they used to be so this is story time now for those of you that are, are listening this is a little piece of Tobias's history and past but it's got a, a good ending and it explains all the problems <laughs> of, of the subject matter of my headset so basically this this microphone was had a little round stand and you stood it there and you could use it and I got into sound recording so I would sit there and I would push the button on on the synthesizer and it would play the sound and that would go into the microphone into sound recorder of all things oh my goodness found a spider oh jeez <laughs> oops <laughs> hey I didn't mean to drop in on you like that <laughs> oh I don't mean to do those things, but man, is it funny when they happen. Okay, <clears throat> so that that got stored away because obviously that didn't last, but I still had the, the microphone. It, it's all broke on the end and the stand. I mean, if you look these things up, they're ridiculous. Clunky and all that. So, if, you know, fast forward to now, it is six months ago, and I got this headset, and it was it, I couldn't use it, uh, because it would only, it would pick up the the speech through the ear phones, okay, that wrap around your ears, and I don't know how that works, but that's how it was working. So I couldn't record right unless I talked into the earphones, which I need to be wearing, in order to use the mouthpiece. So it was a big big mess. So I thought, man, I really need a microphone. 
And I was kind of mad because I, I I can't return the headset once it's been opened and used. They don't they don't like that too much. And it, I feel like an idiot, so if I return it, it just it's embarrassing. It's gonna avoid that whole mental conflict and just try to make do. So I took the headset and I got out the electrical tape and I took this old microphone that's like 12 inches long. It's really really it's bad. <laughs> And I, I took that and I electrical taped it to the side of the headset. And that's my setup. And it's bad. And I also took a piece of one of my old socks. Talk about being frugal. I took a piece of one of my old socks and cut out a square and taped that, again with electrical tape, not on the top of it, but around the sides to hold it in place. Taped that around this piece of sock, around the mouthpiece. Holy crap, these creepers are like... They want to die today. So yeah, I, I, I taped that around the, the mouthpiece of the microphone on the end to muffle noise. I mean, it, it, it's just, it's a poor setup and it gives a lot of um, air and buzzing in the background and I have to, well, I haven't found any iron yet. Oh crap. Hey Skellington, do you want to take on my chainmail armor, do you? <laughs> well, guess what? I went, oh, there's iron. Okay. I was about to say, where's all the iron? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty safe safe to say we're down on... Oh, we're at Y61. Unbelievable. <laughs> I just broke the surface tension. <clears throat> I do need this iron, though, because my pick is almost dead. So, yeah, I was thinking, oh, man, I really don't want to record any more head, uh, videos because I have to do a lot of extra work now to get the sound right. And I just, you know, it was bothering me among all the other things. If it was just that, it probably would have been a big deal, but when you pile on everything else, it, it becomes too much. It's funny what can just... A little tiny piece of dust can tip a scale one direction if everything is perfectly balanced, you know? But then, you know, I saw the video by Markiplier and all the happy peoples, and it, you know, kind of lifted my scrooginess, and, and I thought, all right, I'll, I'll give this a try. Anyway, since I'm not going to be able to find out if I'm going to get... And I'm not going to ask, Oh, did you get me headphones for Christmas? Because I, I like the element of surprise. So I'm, I'm just going to wait. It's only a few more days, and then I will know. And if I don't, I'll go out and buy some. <laughs> so either way, I have to wait. So that's the story. And uh, it's, you know, it is what it is. But... I don't know. I guess there's really there's no moral or point to that. It's just kind of me sharing some story time, and it's just this whole headset is nonsense. I I don't like being frugal. I really don't. I f it feels like I'm I'm so worthless, you know. And I I've always been what would be considered a poor person uh, when it when considering wealth. So of course I, I've always had this desire to have wealth, even though I know it's not really worth it. And I, I definitely talk down about having wealth. I still desire it because I've always wanted to know what it's like. And I've always wanted to relax a little bit, you know. I feel like I work too hard to do what others do without half as much effort. You know, I wish I was one of those people that was kind of happy-go-lucky and, and, you know, didn't take stuff too so seriously and just kind of tried to enjoy their life. I wish I was one of those people because I'm not... I am always in fear of everything and overcritical, and I try to be nice, but my own, you know, the only way I can balance that out to, to the feel good is to boost my ego or do drugs. And if you do drugs, you're going to get arrested or in trouble, and then you got to go through rehab, and the family doesn't like you anymore, and it's just, it's a whole bunch of nonsense. So ego is the way to go. But of course, that doesn't work. Be oh my goodness. <laughs> well, it's about time I found some substantial caving. Well, let's see if we can let's go around the other way and see if there's another entrance to this particular... Ca I don't think there is, though. I think that's a one-shot deal. But that was awesome. That's going to be a... You know, this is no exomine, but it's certainly certainly an interesting, interesting cave system. It's good that I finally found one, because I was just running around these maps for the longest time and just couldn't, couldn't find it at all. Ah! Clink! Okay. Time to make working table. And... Of course, we will make the furnace. Because I have collected 23 iron. That is sweetness. Who was I talking about? 
Yeah. Yeah, ego is the way to go. E e but it's not it's not very reliable. Because when you have a big ego and you know you're doing it to maintain a certain baseline of happiness, everybody thinks you're an arrogant jerk. And I don't know. I guess there is no happy balance there. I'm just trying to stay happy, and the only way I know how to do that is to be full of myself. And of course, people see that and think that I'm some kind of, you know, egotistical madman, and, you know, it's because I'm miserable. And I think that's how a lot of people are. And they gotta do something, because misery lasts too long, man, it'll drive you to the brink of insanity. It'll grab a hold of you, and you'll just be. You'll just be... Then you really will be nasty and there'll be no saving you. Oh, good, I got another bow. There'll be no saving you. Because you will have crossed over the line of sanity and bridged into the realm of insanity. Which simply means that you won't be able to be recovered nearly as effectively as somebody who, who has still got some... You know, they say there's no hope for you. Well, that's one of the reasons why that's said. It's because you're just so far gone and you've 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 endured misery for so long that it has actually changed you as a human being. And you are no longer capable of of feeling happiness anymore. You have achieved total bitterness. And it's unfortunate that that happens. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to get like that. I refuse. So I was going to say, what's that sound? So the only way that I can <clears throat> endure at this point is to just keep making these videos and keep reminding myself that it's not me that needs to be happy. It's you. And because you get, some people, and I know I experience this too, but for some reason when I watch other YouTubers, I feel that. But when I'm making the videos for the YouTubers or for the, for my viewers, it doesn't. It's not. It doesn't feel the same, and I have to keep like reminding myself of that. So, <clears throat> all that having been said, while I construct some metal pants, I just I want to be there for you guys, and I want to be you know something that you can count on, because I haven't been very reliable as of late. Oh, I need a helmet too, and I know that. Uh, you know, Sorbius disappears and some people just get a, you know, it's not the end of the world, but I, it bothers me that I can't keep it going, that I can't do anything with my life, and that I'm always miserable and regretful and just kind of generally upset over, you know, stupid stuff like my feelings. Oh, Sorbius. Baked potato, that's right, you can't, you can't boil carrots as far as I know. Yeah, I'm a real sad sack. <laughs> but but I don't like being like that either, see? So it's it ends up being this vicious cycle of, of emotion. And I'm a dude, like... I don't know, this video is running a little long, but I'll just say, you know... Gener and, and I'm not trying to say be a sexist or anything. I'm just saying that I'm a guy, and I know that guys don't run on feelings first. Okay, guys obviously have feelings just like girls do, but girls tend to run on emotion as a first response, whereas guys tend to run on emotion as a later response. The initial reaction is not necessarily emotional. Um, it's more of a, uh, it, it's, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's always going to be hard to, to explain because it's guys versus girls kind of thing. But there is truth. It's been studied. And I feel like, for me, I'm, I'm like, as emotional as a woman. I really do. Now, maybe you're saying, well, sort of, you know, the real, what are you even saying? You know, there's really no, really no difference. Well, I think that's a matter of opinion at that point. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that, uh, that it is. That there's some truth to that. And I don't necessarily like to to be all emotional because I you know am too aware of what's happening to me and I don't like it <clears throat> I just you know what no screw it uh, I always do that and I regret it later so let me make the shovel ah <sighs>
Okay. So, come on, bat. What are you doing? See, that's how I feel. Instead of letting the bat fly away, because he's just going to keep bothering me, I destroy him. Okay. Ah, so, that one's empty. That one's empty. This one has four potatoes. I'm just going to take those out and break one of the furnace and leave those other ones there. Because it's not like I don't have enough stone to make more. Okay. Now, I heard those zombies and whatever, but I'm going to end this video because I want you to come back and see what happens right here. Oh, hey, Skellington. Because this is like, wow. So, in the next video, I'll do more rambling and try to be less emotional. And I will let you know when I get my new headset. And you will know because I will sound amazing. I'm going to get one of those professional mics, man. I'm telling you. That's one of my goals now. I need a good professional studio mic like the one that Markiplier and so many other famous YouTubers have acquired. I need to sound good, man. All right. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah.